Hi, I'm Christina and today I'm looking back to see whether I have read my most anticipated books of 2022 now that it is one year on. So I made a video showing all the books I was excited to read that will be published in 2022 and early 2023. So that is the video I'm referring to and I will link it down below just in case you'd like to see it. So the first book I was looking forward to was Under Her Care by Lucinda Berry. Now I haven't actually read this one so it's not starting off particularly well but I haven't really been in the mood to read psychological thrillers for a long time. So Lucinda Berry is one of my favourite psychological thriller authors of all time. I love the way she writes, she makes really dark, twisted stories, but like I say, I haven't really been in the mood for thrillers. I'm hoping I will get back into the swing of reading thrillers in 2024, but for a while now, yeah, just not really been in the mood for them. So, not read that one. Now, the next book that I was highly anticipating was Upgrade by Blake Crouch. Now, I have read this one, but unfortunately, I didn't like it at all. It was actually one of the most disappointing books I read in 2022 and it was one of my most highly anticipated which is such a shame. Now the reason I was really looking forward to it was because I absolutely loved Recursion by Blake Crouch. It's one of my favourite science fiction books of all time. It's a brilliant story about time travel. I love the characters. I was really connected to them and I'd refer to it as a science fiction book with a lot of heart. It made me cry and I absolutely loved it. And then I read, read Upgrade and I just found it really disappointing. I didn't like it. I didn't like the characters. I just, I just thought it was a bit rubbish and it was such a shame. So... Mm, didn't like that one. Uh, the next book I was really looking forward to is Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now I have read this one and I absolutely loved this book. It's a brilliant, brilliant book. Five stars for me and I love the character of Carrie. She is a tennis player and she's such an ambitious, driven person. And I really enjoyed the relationship she had with her father and the way they explored that relationship over the years. I just thought it was such a good book. It was very, very, very emotional for me to read. It did make me cry. And I was reading this one on holiday and I was lying there on the beach, crying underneath my sunglasses. It was such a good book. I really enjoy the way Taylor Jenkins reads writes. I just love the way she builds her character. She always writes really interesting characters. And yeah, it feels so much like real life. And when I was reading all the parts where she was playing tennis, I was absolutely rooting for her. And you get so invested in each of the games and what's gonna happen. And it's just so, so good. I would highly recommend this book. I really, really enjoyed it. So the next book that I was very much looking forward to was The Bullet That Missed by Richard Osman. So this is the third book in the Thursday Murder Club series and I have read it and I absolutely loved it. I love this series. It is my favourite mystery series and I just find them so wholesome, so lovely, so witty and I always have such a good time reading them. I love these characters and yeah, it was a really, really good book and I really enjoyed it. So the next book I was really looking forward to is Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng. Now, she has written two of my favourite books of all time, Little Fires Everywhere and Everything I Never Told You. I gave them both five stars. They were wonderful, wonderful books and genuinely two of my favourite books of all time. So I was very, very much looking forward to reading this one and it had been a little while since Celeste Ng had published a book so I was even more excited to read a book by her. Now, I did enjoy it um, but unfortunately it's not a new favourite like the other two books of her, hers have been. So I gave this one four stars. I did enjoy it. It was a good time. It's a good book but it isn't as good as the other two books by her for me. So yeah, enjoyed reading it and I'm very much glad that I read it, but unfortunately it's not an all time favorite now. And I do think it was gonna be very difficult because I love Little Fires Everywhere and Everything I Never Told You so much that it was 
always going to be difficult to kind of recreate that magic for me but yeah still a really good book still really enjoyed it so yeah that was that one. So the next book that I was really looking forward to was Keep It in the Family by John Mars. Now I have started reading this book. I have read a total of 77 pages. And to be honest, it's like what I said before about the Lucinda Berry book. I'm just not really in the mood for thrillers at the moment. So I started reading it and it is very, very dark. Um, a lot more dark than I was expecting and I just wasn't really in that kind of mood, I wasn't really in the frame of mind to read something so dark. So I put it down and hopefully I will pick it up again in the future, but no, I haven't read this one. So the reason I was highly anticipating it is because I have read What Lies Between Us by him and it is a brilliant thriller, I really enjoyed it. Again though, very, very dark, very twisted, very disturbing. And I read another book by him, um, The Marriage Act, but I didn't really enjoy that one very much, so I'm not gonna mention it too much. But yes, that's why I was looking forward to this one. He's written a few books in um, similar worlds, and then this one is a standalone, and What Lies Between Us is also a standalone. So I think perhaps I prefer his standalones a little more than the ones in the same world. But yes, hopefully at some stage I will get around to reading this when I am again in the mood for reading thrillers. So the next book I was really looking forward to reading was The Drift by CJ Tudor. Unfortunately, I didn't like that one either. I only gave it two stars. Now, the reason I was highly anticipating it was I really enjoyed The Chalk Man and The Burning Girls. And I have also read and enjoyed The Taking of Annie Fawn, which is known as The Hiding Place in the US. So enjoyed three of her books really really enjoyed The Burning Girls, that is my favourite by her, and then enjoyed The Chalk Man and then also The Taking of Annie Fawn. And this one sounds even more up my street because not only is it a kind of thriller horror like she normally writes, it is also a kind of science fiction, dystopian, post-apocalyptic fiction kind of book. And I love those books, so this sounded right up my street. But unfortunately, I just found it really disappointing, really underwhelming. I wasn't really connected to the characters. And I just, yeah, it was a bit of a letdown. I was really, really surprised because I was very much looking forward to reading that book. So yeah, that one was a bit of a shame. And then the next book and the last book I was really looking forward to reading was Exiles by Jane Harper. So this was the third book in the Aaron Falk series. I absolutely loved the first book, which was called The Dry, and then the second book I did enjoy, but not quite as much. So the first book I gave five stars, wonderful, wonderful book. One of the best kind of mystery books I've read, really enjoyed it, it's very dark, very disturbing. And then the second one, Force of Nature, I gave that one three stars. It was a solid book, but I didn't really love it. And then this one, the third book, was absolutely wonderful. I loved the way she developed the character of Aaron, our main character. I really liked what she did with him and what she kind of brought into his life. And again, the mystery was really, really interesting. So in the first one, I think the mystery was excellent. And in the second one, it was, it was just kind of okay. And then again, in the third one, again, another excellent mystery. I was really, really intrigued. It was a very kind of slow build mystery and I found it really, really interesting. And yeah, the way in which she developed her main character of Aaron was wonderful. I, I love what she did with him. It was such a good book. And it absolutely brought this series back up to the top for me as a five-star read again. So really, really chuffed with that. So oh, that's it. Out of the eight books that I was highly anticipating, I have read six of them. So chuffed with that, that's 75% read of the books I was highly anticipating. Now, in terms of enjoyment, I enjoyed four of the six books that I read. I gave three of them five stars, which is absolutely wonderful. And then I gave one of them four stars, which is good. And then unfortunately, the other two I didn't like, I gave them both two stars. So yeah, interesting to look back at the books I was really, really looking forward to and seeing what I actually thought of them. I am really, really pleased that I enjoyed the ones that I did and a little bit of a shame about the ones I didn't, but you know, I don't regret reading them. I'm still happy that I gave them a shot. And yeah, 
be very interesting to see in the future which ones, again, I've been highly anticipating and which ones I end up reading. Now, in terms of the two books I haven't read, interesting that they're both thrillers, because like I say, I haven't really been in the mood for reading thrillers, so it kind of makes sense I haven't read them. So yeah, those were the books that I was highly anticipating to be published in 2022 and early 2023. So really happy that I've read six out of eight of them. I'm, I'm actually quite proud of that. That's pretty good for me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do like the video if you've liked it. And please do subscribe if you'd like to hear more of me talking about books. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.